so it is filming. Okay. I'm here. We're filming. Brett. Who are you talking to? Mike. I'm filming. I'm filming me. Who are you? I'm. Uh, this is Marcus Ruiz Evans, and I'm filming a Cal Exit event. There's CNP, Independent California. Oh, look, look, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You want to be famous? No? Here's a Trump supporter. And she asked us to help hold out her flag. But I pointed out that we're Californians and we don't do that here. Stop killing people. There you go. It's, and here's another Trump supporter. Uh, earlier, he threatened to beat up some of our members. This guy right here. Hey. Didn't you, you just physically threaten a few of the members a few minutes ago? Excuse me? Uh, no, he did. No, I said, don't no, disrespect my parents. I was right there. Uh, or, or, or what would you do? Shit. Because I was right there. Then you said you would yeah, do something. No, I said, I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, I come here civilly so we can talk. Yeah. Don't try to change my words, please. Yeah, he, he I'm did. asking you, you didn't you no, no, say no, if you don't do something, you, you would do something. What was going on he before? I heard, I just heard you. Well, he's not going to admit it now, but that's what was going on. So, this is who they are. This, this guy is civil right here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Another Trump supporter. You were talking shit. Don't turn it on me. You're oh. talking shit. Turn it on yourself. There you go. Uh, I'm on. Yeah, you're talking shit about his family buying their way to America, right? Where I just didn't that? say that. No, what I was pointing out. You talking shit about that? You guys, you said you guys, were you guys talking shit about that? That wasn't you. Said what? I didn't say that. Shit about his family. Shit. Yeah. You're talking shit about his family. Now you want to talk about what? Apparently someone talked not nice about his family. And then he threatened over his violence. And this Trump supporter thinks that's okay. See? He's for violence. See, see what? You're talking shit trying to get him in trouble for something you guys are fucking saying. And then saying. it's okay to threaten physical violence. How do you threaten you with physical violence? That's what I was asking. How, how did he threaten you? He said, I'll or I'll start to put my hands on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, did he say he's going to put your hand on you? So you just back that up. Do you guys know that, that no, about... He's lying. 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 He's
I wouldn't have allowed it. But they weren't saying anything to anybody. They were just standing there like a bunch of zombies. I tried to engage with them and ask them questions, right. and they were just mutes. Right, but I just I just said that the Trump supporters so crossed the street, if you're not went into their face, and, and have a conversation. They wanted that. I don't. I'm not. I don't well, know what they were doing. Good. I'm just saying that they? isn't that aggressive to walk across the street and put a bullhorn in someone's face? Well, you heard it from the source. We're gonna go get more interviews. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Huh? So this should be very interesting. Woo! It is hot. Right now. Here we go. Oh, here's the guy that stole the pinata. Would you like to do an interview? Peaceful, respectful interview? Peaceful, respectful interview. This is the guy, and you, you my took me. Name is Charles. Yeah, my name is Charles and Mundo Vetran. Support Trump and his second amendment. And uh, it was a great victory. We took off four corners from Antifa, Democratic Party. We beat them. So that's my story. The end. Period. How did How did you take the corner from Antifa? <laughs> In your own words, yeah, okay, no, I'm okay, just so asking how. In your own words, peacefully, in, peacefully and respectfully, yeah. in your own words, we took, we took how did it, you take the corner from Antifa? Four corners, and, uh, you were here, weren't you? If I say okay, it, you're going to okay, say it's okay, biased, okay, okay, it's okay. got to be in your words, right, so it's right, not okay, edited. You know what? I, I'm not real good at like, like making good conversations or making good sentences, okay? So it's hard for me to make that, so I kind of avoid because I have a hard time speaking, but this, that, that, this, that, that's, so that's the reason why. You admit that this corner originally was Antifa. Is that fair? They were here, and then Trump supporters okay, crossed the okay. street to meet them. They were here with a polished eyes, okay. and uh, they're with their intimidating masks, trying to, you know, right. intimidate, fist, and all that stuff. And, and then, so, the, and so, uh, and then the Trump supporters cross the street. Trump supporters, over here. Republicans, walk away movement. Uh, anybody that votes Trump, we all came over here. Okay, they walked off. We were, uh, we had a large number. They were a small number. Uh, one of the was there, well, he said he's not a Tifa, he's not from Democratic, he was masked with a fuck Trump. I had a good conversation with him, we're having a good talk. Uh, Tom, you look like my son. And okay. I told him, <laughs> not you. It's okay. Right, the other, the other guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck Trump. Yeah. And uh, he listened, he, he, was a, he was a good kid. Um, one thing, uh, you people, you want to say fuck Trump, I'll say it with you. But you gotta say with class and style. It's supposed to be our president down to Big Trump. Because after all, he is your president. One more term, eight years. Do you think Trump's gonna win re-election in 2020? He's going to win. What do you think no, Californians no, 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 will no, do? No, the camera's not on me. It's in the back of Donald Trump's head. <laughs> what do you think Trump uh, Californians will do when Donald Trump you know wins what? in 2020? How do you, you know, think Californians I'm not will react? Answer your question, but you know what? It's one thing that Donald J. Trump lied that I kind of took personal is that he said that we're going to be tired of winning. And we're going to be yelling, please, Donald J. Trump, no more winning. We can't take it anymore. Okay. Well, you know what? That's a lie because I'm not tired of winning. We keep winning. Okay? You, that's, you, that's, 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 that's it? That's, that's all you're going to give? On, okay. That. I, I already gave you my time. Yeah, fist bumps. There you go. How about this guy? He's not real anyway. Uh, he's bashed. Uh, I'll do this. There you go. Fair enough? <laughs> fair enough? Halfway through? That's fair enough. So here's the rest of the Trump support crowd. See they're doing this way. Looking good. There you go. Checking it out. Checking it out. Look at that. A lot of support right here. A lot of sellouts. Looking good. There you go. We're going to finish our tour of the Trump support. We should capture the whole thing around. Uh, there's an interesting conversation here. Deal that. So this is largely where the Trump crowd crossed the street to a corner that was originally occupied by Antifa, and then physically sort of pushed them away, yelling in their face and putting a bullhorn in their face. You saw where we talked to someone who was a Trump supporter saying that's acceptable, and then you saw where one of the Trump supporters literally said, yeah, that's what they did. But now they're going to claim that the left is the aggressive ones. Now certainly Antifa is a little bit more strong than my personal taste of tea, but I think you saw who started what? News crew here. Don't know who if they're from. 
A little bit of video. Oh, there actually is some Antifa. If you look close, right there. Having a debate with some trouble. People seems to be going okay. But 